Hey guys, in today's episode we are just going to go through how to add a simple line render when you're aiming using the mobile joysticks. We're going to add how to shoot just when you let go of the shooting joystick, which is handy I guess if you have a sniper rifle or something you can hold it down to aim and let go which will shoot. And then we're just going to go through how to add a simple scroll view to your character selection menu. So uh, let's get started. Okay guys, to start out we're going to do the character selector scroll view. Now with today's episode, I'm going to I've already done this on here, but I'm going to go through and talk through the changes as I did a 15 minute recording and didn't have the microphone on. Epic fail. So, uh for the scroll view, what we're going to do is go to the canvas character selection panel. Just make it visible for now. You want to right click on the selection panel add a scroll view and it'll give you this what you can do is just unselect the image background so you don't have the the white background so you can get rid of the horizontal and vertical scroll bars that come with it as well uh, also on here you want to uncheck the vertical for the scroll rect because you don't want to go up and down when all your characters are going to be laid out across uh, i move mine to unrestricted so it just means you can continuously scroll. I will be writing a script that will only let you scroll as far as the amount of uh, characters that are in there. For your, uh, you wanna make sure it's all up to the right size. You can just, for the content area, you can just stretch it down a bit. Then you wanna go to your managers find just the character selector script and for the content the rec transform you want to drag over the content from the viewports put that there that will make sure that they don't just load in this window they now load into the content for the scroll view so if you want to hide that give it a test and when you go to select a character you get a nice little scroll as I say, it is scrolling indefinitely at the moment. You can keep scrolling as far as you want, but um, I will write a script to change that. So next on the list is to add the line render when you're aiming. So what you want to do is you want to find your player prefab. It's just so it's player in there. You can see it down there. It's that funky little icon. And the first thing to do under weapon handler, just create two, just create two empties, call one of them line start, and another one line end. And then for the position of line start, just put it all zeros. For line end, you wanna put it as X is 10 and the other two could be zeros and you'll see that it's it's there. So that's essentially gonna be the distance of our line. On the main player part, you wanna add a line renderer component. So easy enough, just add component, start typing line renderer and it's there. Then, if you want to open up your player controller script, so player controller.cs, uh, up here, anywhere after all of these references, you can put them in between. I like to put them at the end though. So, you want to add a public game object line start and same for line end. And that's literally going to reference those two game objects that we've just made for the start and the finish position. If you want to look for updates, so void updates look down here for handle inputs which is if the player is ours handle inputs directly under that we want to add this nice little section here so if the controls manager shoot stick is holding so that means if we're using the mobile controls and we're holding down the aiming stick this is what's going to happen so we're going to reference the line renderer so line renderer line renderer make sure you get the upper and lower case correctly it's going to get the component, the line renderer component from this script, uh, from the object that has this script. We're going to enable the line renderer while we're holding. There's going to be two positions, and then so we're going to set position zero, which is the first position as the line start dot transform dot position, and the line renderer 
the second position, so line renderer position zero, uh, position one, it's going to be the line ends dot transform dot position. And then we're going to put an else. So if we're not holding down the joystick, we're going to grab the component again, and we're going to set the line renderer dot enabled to false. So the line renderer will not show if we're not holding. So then you want to save that. You come back. Uh, if we make sure our line render is visible, you will now have, you'll have a line, but you need to, its defaults are all zeros. So if you set them to these values, uh, there's the y's, there's 0 0.237, and point zeros x as minus 0 0.058, and position one's x is 10. It will give you essentially what it's gonna look like in the game. So you get a nice line there. I found the easiest way to change the uh, the color of the line is with the material. You can do whatever you want with it. Let's do a nice little orange maybe. I didn't have much luck trying to do it with colors. So let's, yeah, I think you could do this multiple materials as well. But so there you go, there's our line. Uh, and when you're done, you want to make sure that you untick the line renderer because we don't want it to always be active so if we go back to our scene here we'll just test that so when we aim using this joystick and there is a there was our line i shouldn't have used so many bots and it kicks me out when I die because I'm going around the initial login, which is obviously then kicking me out. But it's just for testing purposes. So as you see, there's a line. We get the line when we shoot. You can make it as long or as short as you want. Okay, uh, the last part is gonna be shooting when we let go of the shoot stick which is handy if you've got sniper rifles or in my game I'm shooting magic and I don't want it to constantly be shooting. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our joystick.cs. At the top within all these we're going to add public ball can shoot and we're going to scroll down to the on pointer up which is when you let go of the joystick we're going to add a can shoot is true. So essentially, when we're letting go of the joystick, we're saying that we are allowed to shoot. And then we want to go to our controls manager. In with all of this slot, we're going to add another reference here. So public ball can shoot now. I just thought you can do can shoot, but I thought I'd just do it differently so I don't get mixed up between the scripts. So we're going to add can shoot now. Uh, we want to set in the updates I've just added it down the bottom can shoot now is equal to well it is shoot stick dot can shoot so as long as we can shoot from the uh, after we let go the can shoot now in this script is going to be that and then in the late updates all I've done is I've commented out this that was already there I copied it pasted it here and I got rid of the shoot stick dot progress um, all the way to the shoot stick is holding and just added can shoot now. So if can shoot now is true, we are going to be allowed to shoot. After that, you want to make your way over to your player controller script and you want to look for public void shoot. It's easier just to search for it. So just type void shoot. Here it is. Uh, as a last line on here, I've added it after weapon shoot. Just add your game manager, instance, controls manager, shoot stick, can shoot to false. So after we shoot, we are literally going to set the can shoot back to false again. That will update the controls managers one to false and so we won't be able to shoot again until the joystick is then let go again. And you will see that. I accidentally clicked on my chrome then. So I will just 
and demo that. Oh yeah, I started away from it. So hopefully, and this works better for a sniper, I'm not sure if it works with this. So when you let go, you shoot once. Let go, shoot once. It only shoot whenever I let go. So that's good for snipers because it gives you, it lets you do this and aim without shooting and worrying about having to reload all the time. And you can literally just let go to shoot. And that's all of that. So um, remember guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, if you got something from it. If there's anything you want me to start trying to do in this game, is uh, feel free to put it in the comments. I am also in the support discords for Super Multiplayer Shooter Template and CBS. Uh, it's shift and it will also say puppy gaming in it in, uh, in my name and I do answer questions on there as well and offer help where I can so if you are stuck feel free to do it in the comments or in their discords also the developers are obviously in the discord so you, you will get a good answer from them as well so uh, thank you guys very much for watching